When will Shiba Inu coin set a new all-time high? That is the question we're going to tackle in this video, guys. We are roughly 560% away from making that happen. We'd have to get back to a $53 billion market cap. Now, in this video, I'm going to break down some key metrics right now because we are seeing some whale activity. There's been a lot of chatter about this. Of course, Shiba Inu whales or whales in any crypto project really do control a lot of the narrative because they control a lot of the supply and they control the money, right? They control the movements in the market. Now, there is a big, big chunk of whales right now controlling the price of SHIB. Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? We'll kind of talk a little bit about that in this greater conversation about SHIB's price, kind of where we are, what we need to see happen and when we think it could all kind of come together uh, for SHIB. And here's the thing, guys, we have to realize, you know, SHIB got halfway to its all-time high in March, kind of a mini bull run there that we saw in the spring. That was nothing, right? That was literally a blip on the radar. We went up 100% in a month, right? So all we really need, and really it was like a week or two, what we really need is a sustained three to four month runway where all of crypto is moving up. And I think SHIB's going to set its all-time high. So we're going to into some of the specifics here uh, a little bit in this video and also kind of break down some things that are happening behind the scenes again with whales. So an early SHIB whale has made an unexpected move uh, with trillions of tokens. So this whale actually uh, swapped some SHIB for FET. Now in the past 10 hours, the whale swapped $3.5 million of SHIB for FET. He's chasing, uh, you know, the AI narrative right now. Of course, NVIDIA uh, in the stock market, just absolutely crushing it. They just slammed through, you know, their uh, their quarterly earnings. It's it's drawing up the entire AI sector for sure. This is something that, you know, I used to look at and say, oh my gosh, this whale's getting out of ship. Not really. So this whale in particular has been in for a while. They made a 52X from February 21st to 2022. They still hold a ton. Right. So when we see these type of articles, I think it's, you know, very quick. You know, we're very quick to say, oh, my gosh, this is a panic moment. Not really, because most likely this whale will make money on FET and then come back into SHIB when the timing's right. I think people are getting exhausted a little bit with the price. Uh, you know, a lot of it is hinging on Ethereum. Right. We need Ethereum to make its move. And right now it's still kind of stuck. You know what I mean? We're not really making that real big push that we thought with the Ethereum ETFs. It's a little bit of a you know, delayed gratification, I guess, you could say here with ETH. And eventually, though, ETH will start to make its move and you know, get up here like it was you know, back in uh, July, where we were up over 3,500. All we need is that little push. And all of a sudden, the biggest ERC-20 crypto, SHIB, makes its move. Uh, and even back in here, uh, in June, we almost got up to you know, 4K which is crazy. And then uh, we we actually did get up to 4,000 back in March. So at this point, when we were at 4K, we were back to our, you know, halfway toward our all-time high with SHIB. So that tells us that if we got price discovery with Ethereum and we start breaking out, ERC-20 cryptos are going to rip, right? SHIB's going to rip. Now, again, I mentioned we need to get to 409. When could this happen? Well, I foresee it starting to happen now in Q4, but I think as we move into 2025 is where we'll really start to see the moves. Now, some people think we've got a runway into Q1 of 2025. Others think we can take it all the way into the fall. And I think that's a you know pretty likely scenario that we see it run into the fall, uh, the bull run, right? We'll probably have some drawdowns and pullbacks in between all of that. But I think we could see this number hit at some point, either Q1, if we get that mega run in 2025, or late 2025, where we'll find price discovery. The big target that I'm looking for is that $100 billion market cap, right? So um, if we take a look here, we want to get to three zeros, one, uh, actually here. If we go here, we'll just do this. We'll just make this. In, insert custom market cap. Just like that. So, oh, that's 1 billion. We don't want that. We want 100 billion. There we go. So we need to get to 3016. Uh, that's an 11X away. 
This to me is kind of our target this cycle, given where we are. Again, we got to about 50 billion. I'm looking for SHIB to get to 100 billion at some point in this cycle. Again, 11x return, very solid. You know, we have to realize this is not an investment here that's going to 100x this cycle, not this cycle, right? It did it last cycle. The days of it going up thousands of percentage points in months, though, it's just, it's too big of a market cap now, right? We're sitting at an $8 billion market cap. But getting here up to 100 billion, I think it's very feasible. You know, a 10 to 11x, I think, is in the cards for SHIB, but it's all going to depend on Ethereum and when we get retail back. You know, we're probably going to get a rate hike here in September, which should be really good for the overall markets. Kind of puts a Band-Aid on the problem, obviously. It's not a fix-all, right? But it should bode well for crypto. And here's the thing. Perception is reality when it comes to the markets. Perception is reality. And if the perception is that the economy is doing well and they're pumping the markets and they're printing money, things are going to pump, especially the tech you know, tech side of things in the stock market and crypto, right? Crypto will follow tech. Crypto will follow the high risky tech stocks in the markets. And once we get into that type of risk on environment, that's where the retail money comes back. And the unfortunate event is there'll be exit liquidity for people like us who are watching. If you're watching this video right now, you're, you're already in the game and it's kind of a necessary evil. There's a lot of people on the sidelines who will wait to get in They'll FOMO in at the top and then they'll get wrecked and we'll hit a bear market and they'll have this bad taste in their mouth and they'll hate crypto. But for you guys who are watching this video in this weird time frame, we're in a really good spot. We're in a really good spot because we're accumulating right now. We're setting ourselves up for that runway for a lot of these top cryptos to do that, you know, eight to 12 X, right? And that's how we're going to make our bread. Remember, we're getting wealthy through altcoins. We're storing our wealth in Bitcoin. It's not about how much money you make. It's about how much money you keep. And when we're playing the altcoin game, have your profit taking plans in place, have a strict strategy, you know, written down, not just in your head, write it out. Because when this thing starts popping and moving, I, I'm telling you guys, I lived it. And I'm sure you have if you were around in 2021. There's no time to think. And your emotions can grab a hold of you quickly in this market. And all of a sudden, you're making irrational decisions. So make sure you guys have your profit taking plans in place, uh, have it structured, right? Know exactly when you want to take profits, how much, and what you want to do with those profits. Are you driving it back into Bitcoin? Are you driving it into real estate or businesses? Whatever it is, right? This is this is our time period, guys. This is the calm before the storm, before things really start to heat up. So. That's kind of my breakdown right now on the SHIB price. Now, before we get up on out of here, I do want to tell you a little bit about Marjex. You guys can come over and trade with me on Leverage if you're interested in that. Links down below. Uh, they're running an unbelievable Caspa airdrop. So when you sign up using my link, we've got a ton of people trading over with me on Marjex. Sign up today, make a trade, and all of a sudden, boom, you're going to get some free Caspa airdrop to you just like that. Uh, they're running this for a month, so don't miss out on this opportunity. And then XT Algo. If you're serious about trading, you're serious about making money, you want to be an active investor, no days off, you're that type of person, and you want to know the best moves to make in the markets, I'm telling you guys, you need a tool like this. If it's not mine, find something else out there. But I'll tell you this, this indicator works, and I'm very confident in that because I'm going to give you a 30-day money-back guarantee. You could try it literally risk-free. If you don't like it, full money back after 30 days. Make sure you guys use the discount code when you sign up. You're going to slash these prices by 21%, limited time only on that offer. And we're going to be running some holiday specials here too as we get into uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas. Um, but right now, this is an awesome opportunity because we just entered Q4. And when fireworks start happening, you want to know when the best times to take profits are. You need a tool like this, like XT Algo. So links down below, guys, to that. Appreciate you for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Peace out.